And what's the haps folks, this is Professor App here with a let's play of Thimbleweed Park. Last time we continued our investigation and we managed to get our way deeper into the factory and discovered that uh, Chuck had actually uploaded his consciousness or his, his brain or something onto the pillow tron. Which is probably explains why he's now able to see everything that goes on in the town. And I guess I was I guess I was sort of correct with my uh, with my theory that Chuck was actually still alive. I mean I don't know if he, I don't know if he was actually classed as being alive or not, being uploaded to a computer, but I, th I, I guess I was right in that he was actually still in control of things. So I'm glad I was actually correct, sort of correct about that. And anyway, now um, he appears to have set some sort of traps for us, for the people who have gone into the factory, and now have to like try and crack the code or something to try and stop them, which involves going through this, uh, this, uh, this text adventure that uh, Chuck seems to have created. I'm not sure... How I'm going to solve that or anything, or what exactly I need to do to actually get through that, but uh, I suppose we'll find out soon enough when we carry on. So, how about we get started then, shall we? And we'll listen to this one. Computer's terminal. So we've got this adventure little Chuck mod. Welcome to Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2, written program by Ron Gilbert's copy copyright 1981 mods by Chuck Edmonds. So I think I have to like try and go through this text adventure to try and find find the way out somehow, I suppose, but I'm not sure how. Let's just try once more. In damp and dark room, the floor is hard stone dim lights to your west. So look see look once have a look around. No, it's the same. So go north. Now to the north. Go east. All right, that was uh, that was uh, that was quick. Uh, let's uh, try and go west. Exit to the east and west. It smells of death. Around now, um, well, west is the way. East was the way I came from. So let's uh, go west. A beam of light coming from in from an opening above. A river can be heard to the north. So go to the light. Hoping it's too high to reach. Let's uh, let's uh, go north. No way out except the way you came in from the south. There are strange cave paintings on the walls. Let's examine the paintings. They are old paintings depicting humans running in terror from robots. Other humans seem to be controlling the robots with joysticks and laughing. Let's uh, go south. Um, can't go to the light. Let's try and go east. Go west. Uh, let's look around. No, nothing there. Go north. Uh, look around. Examine paintings. Go south. Go east. Just go back the way I came on, sir. Look around. Go north. I feel like there's a clue to solving this somehow, but uh, I'm not sure where. I suppose I should just, like uh, go and look around for it. I suppose. Let's see. What's he say again? Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I also have a rare and priceless hint guide to a forgotten text adventure called Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. Hang on. Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. Wasn't that the name of... That was the name of the, of the text adventure on Chuck's computer, is it not? Uh, actually, I remember this. I need to like, trade something for the hint guide, don't I? I've got anything I can trade from now. Can I trade you something? Completely forgot about this. What do you have to trade? Uh, kind smile. A kind smile? 
Sorry, that's not worth trading for a Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 hint guide. Bye! I don't think I have anything on me to, to trade in. I suppose I'll just have a look around, see if I can find something. So I'm guessing that hint guide will be able to tell me how I can solve that, that text adventure. See if we can find something else. Anything here? Now, yeah, what's that? Comic book? Let's pick up the comic book. So, what's this comic book? Look out, it's Ransom the Insult Clown. Buy my beeping book, hey, beep faces. Beat all of you. First gut wrenching issue. <laughs> That's weird. Perhaps I could trade. Perhaps I could trade uh, him this for the uh, the strategy guy because so he runs a comic store, doesn't he? Maybe maybe I could give him this. That's a rare first edition of my fantastic comic book. Yeah, he said it's a rare first edition, so maybe that's that's enough for him to trade. Let's give it a try. So back to uh, where's the uh, the hotel? Right, let's uh, let's talk to him again. Hi, anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D and D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I also have a rare and priceless hint guide to a forgotten text adventure called Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. How much are the beeping hint guides? How much are the hint guides? The Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 hint guide is priceless. Just sell yeah, your no. soul and I'll give one to you. If I thought selling my soul could solve the problem, I would have done it a long time ago. It even contains a secret <laughs> of a crash computer. Due to a bug in the code not caught by the testers. Big deal. Oh. How about a trade for the hint guide? How about a trade for the stupid hint guide? Maybe that if I what crash the computer, trade? I'll stop him. A first edition ransom comic book, maybe. A first edition ransom comic book? Wow. A first edition ransom the clown comic? After his total meltdown, that's become a collector's item. You almost look like him, except your costume is pretty crappy. I'll trade you the Price's Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 hint guide for it. What a rip-off. <laughs> so, let's look at this hint book. Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 is the award-winning and groundbreaking text adventure set in a Colossal Dungeon Cave where players go on a quest. Why is it all covered in, like, in, like red dots? Can't read at all. Yeah. It says I think that says when entering the colossal dungeon cave heading to the east will cause instant death, right? Head to the west and look around. There isn't much to see, but you might not might not I can't I can't read that. So let's, uh, let's uh, see if there's anything else I can use. Head to the west and look around. There isn't much to see, but you might not you might notice something important. It is it is something that it is rumoured the designers and something here might just be a red herring. Head to the west again. You will find yourself in a room with a beam of light. Uh, many have entered this, have found the significance of the light and its relationship to the larger story story being told warning while in the chamber with the robots
Now, what does it say? Warning. While in the chamber with the robot. Can't read that. Issuing the I I can't I can't read this. The secret word or something. Well, we'll cause it to crash, right? I think something relating to that um, the room with the with the painting or something. So I need to say like some secret word or something like that to crash the game. So uh, let's head back to Dolores. Let's see if I can see if this works. Oh wait, 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 wait! I know what I need to do. I need to use this red gel decoder, don't I? Well, that will like get rid of the red stains, perhaps. Let's just uh, let's just try it. So let's uh, head back over. I was wondering why I needed that red gel decoder. So let's go in and give this guide to Dolores. Right, um, give hint book to Dolores. So use red gel decoder with the hint book, is it? Where is it? Here we are. Here we are. Now I can read it. Famed text adventure game designer Ron Gilbert was quoted as saying that text adventures are here to stay. The fad of adding graphics will die soon enough. I'm not sure that's true. When entering the colossal dungeon cave, heading to the east will cause instant death. Head to the west and look around. There isn't much to see, but you might notice something important. It's rumoured the designers hid something here, but it's never been found. It might just be a red herring. Head to the west again. You will find yourself in a room with a beam of light. Many have pondered the significance of the light and its relationship to the larger story they being told. Warning. While in the chamber with the robots, issuing the secret debug word Fizzscum will hard crash the game and take down the entire computer, forcing a lengthy reboot. That's what I need to do. I need to... Need to enter the word fizzcom in in the game, right? Use computer terminal. So that's adventure. So it's I think it's west. West again. Go north. Say fizzcom. rebooting now. You're not doing this happened? I want to be here too, please. Oh dear. I'm trapped I here now. I think we're locked in here now. Yeah, we're screwed. Uh-oh. You are trapped in the factory with no possible escape. My intellect now spans millions of tubes and is no match for your little brains. This is the last chance to join me before I destroy you all. Shall we take a vote? All in favor of joining Uncle Chuck inside the magical mind of the Pillotron 3000 DM and ruling the world with him say, I. Very well, all in favor no, of being no responded. by robot claws and burned by lasers and remaining pathetic mortals say, I. I. I, I, abstain. So be it. Let no one say I don't abstain. Have democracy and the will of the people. <laughs> you will now all die. Oh, part eight, the escape. So, what do I do now? So the computer terminal. The computer is and in the middle using. of rebooting. The computer is in the middle of rebooting. Right. Thought so. Can't go through there. Can't go through there, can I? I think that's locked. It's locked. Nope. <laughs> okay, so I can go through here now, by the looks of things. 
What's this button? Clever. Oh. You crashed my computer. Five, four, three, two, one. Emergency reboot. There is no way to get by my computer control robot arms of death. Can you use the button? My evil computer control robot arms. Are... Oh, there we go. Let's just uh, send everyone through. Never know when you might need them. Oh. You will never get past my searing lasers of doom, Tia. You are doomed! Hold on, hold on, wait a sec. I want to turn down the volume so you can hear my maniacal rant. I just piped the sound in so it feels scarier. Lasers are actually as silent as a baby's bottom. Anyway, you are doomed! You will never get past my That's making lasers sense. of death! TM. You pesky kids will never thwart my plan. You are all doomed against the AI power of Pillowtron 3000. TM and patent pending. Uh, right, what to do? Maybe I could use, could I use like the foil or something? Don't think the lasers will be able to, will the lasers be able to penetrate the, uh, the aluminium foil? Uh, right. Um, Ransom has the foil, doesn't he? It's a sheet of aluminum foil. Can I, like... I've got that hat, don't I? Why saying help? Let's, um... Let's give the hat to Ransom. Now, uh, let's see. Can I like, use the foil in the hat? Foil on the hat, maybe? Yes! Let's see, this works. So, use the foil covered hat. No, I have to give it to someone else. So you should give her the full covered hats to. Let's give it to Dolores for now. So let's use the foil covered hat. Will this work? Please say this works. Yes, it's working. Oops, to me, sir. There we are. Yeah, no. God, it's so red. It's actually quite, quite weird watching everything so red. Let's open the door. This is a bug report. There's a fan. Can anyone else get through? Yeah, they can. No, they can't. Help me. Can they? Nah, can't go through. You will never defeat me. There's a huge fan there. Look at the huge fan. It's spinning pretty fast. No way past it. What's this sign? Look, let's uh, look at the sign. For servicing, call 6747. Okay, let's try that. Help me, please, help me. The cell phone has no reception. No reception. Um, can I go somewhere else? Hang on. I know. I know who could call. Maybe would Franklin be able to call them? Let's try Franklin. Because uh, he's the only. One. I'm guessing there's no reception in the factory at all. So that's uh, the only one. The only one who can actually out is outside the factory is Franklin. I think six seven four seven. 
There's the lobby. Uh, right, zap the telephone. And it's uh, 6747. This is the fully automated fan service for fan number 37532. Current state of the fan is on. Turning fan off in 3, 2, 1. Current state of the fan is off. Has it worked? Yes. Hang on, secret room, as in, as in the the conspiracy, not secret room. I see a lot of equipment in there. I think I can squeeze past the fan now. Okay. Overheating. Whoa. Me. More red. Overheating won't hurt me. You're Pillowtron 3000. It's closed, and there's no obvious handle. It's a slot. Your attempts to overheat me. It's a slot. There's some kind of mechanism inside. Uh, Pillowtron 3000. Overheating won't hurt me. That's one big computer. Uncle Chuck continues to amaze me. So something needs to, something needs to go in there, doesn't it? Overheating won't hurt me. Um, the shovel maybe. Like use rusty shovel on the slot. That doesn't work. I am impossible. Maybe it's the beta tape. Use the beta tape in the slot. Won't hurt me. It will only work in the non-existent Betamax player. Overheating won't hurt me. Okay. Your attempts to overheat me. Go in that slot. Over. You will never defeat me. I almost forgot. You Anything that could go in here? Me. Maybe the strange tool, perhaps. Let's uh, let's just uh, let's send a ray through so she can use that tool. Only one person have the hat, right? Well, let's uh, give this hat to that to Ray, and then see if that tool will be of any use. You're cheating! Right. Use all covered hat. I filed this as a bug report. No pair. Yeah. Didn't feel a thing. You just wait for the lasers of doom, Tia. 2.0. Take that. Ha. Ha. Didn't feel a thing. You're cheating. You're cheating. Let's just uh, right, let's go through. See, so this tool works. This strange tool. Use strange tool in the slot. It's too hot to touch. It's too hot. So he's trying to cool it down. I'm guessing it, I do need that tool somehow, but he's trying to cool it down. Hang on, do I need to like try and turn the fan back on perhaps? Uh right, swap to Franklin. See if this works. Um six seven four seven. This is the fully automated fan service for fan number three seven five three two. Current state of the fan is off. Turning fan on in three, two, one. Current state of the fan is on. So will that cool the room down? Won't hurt me. 
Oh, it looks like it. Overheating there we are. If you strike me, right, let's see. Uh, you strange tool on the slot. Aha! Uh -huh. See what's in here. I don't care how much money they were going to pay me, I'm not going in there. I am one with Pillowtron. I'm going in. I don't care how much money they were going to pay me, I'm not going in there. Uh, right, so what do I do then? Do I need to send someone else in? So let's just try them all. Uh, right. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to keep swapping back between the, all five characters to try and get the, see if it, whoever it is that works. Right. Six. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Wait, what? It's a phone. Six seven four seven, isn't it? We're sorry. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Why is it not, not working? Is because Ray's too close with me? Let's try again. We're sorry. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Okay, so what do I do now then? Pillowtron 3000 TM. I can't go back now, can I? It's spinning pretty fast. No way past it. If you strike me down, I Wait, why are they here? Must be something in here I can use. Is there anything that Ray has in here? There's always something I can use in here. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Anything here at all I can interact with? I am one. Hang on, trap door. What's this? You will never defeat me. Oh, that's what that is. So let's all go down. Strike me down. I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Bet race think. Bet race thinking. Why on earth am I wearing this hat? <laughs> I look absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> can can Ray's go in? I'm no. not going in there. Nothing at the academy prepared me for this. Uh... This is your last warning. Will Ransom go in? Oh, they won't. Uh, no way I'm walking in that little chamber of death. This is your uh, last send Dolores in, I guess. Back. Yep, thought so. Dolores, you are making a big mistake. What happened to you, Uncle Chuck? I have been uploaded to Pillowtron 3000, TM. Together we are now invincible. Yeah, we know. You could have joined us, Dolores, but you had to leave me to be a... To be a game designer. You've been corrupted by bad tube technology. I will destroy you, Uncle Chuck. Or what's left of my Uncle Chuck. You will never defeat me, Dolores! <laughs> right, get some traps in here now. Death. The door is locked tight. I'm trapped in here. Can I use, uh, can I pull these tubes you out? You will never defeat me! You will never defeat me! Oh. You can't defeat me, Dolores! As soon as I push them all in. You will never defeat me! Dolores, shutting me down will only make me stronger! Death is all that awaits you now! 
Well, for make you shut up and doing it. Help me, Dolores. I am one with the Pillotron computer. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer. Do I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. You should have listened to me. <laughs> That's weird. I guess him pushing his tubes is making him go a little bit insane. Save me, Dolores. You found all the clues I left. I knew you would save me. All the clues on it, so he did set up all these puzzles or something. I knew you would come, Dolores. You were too smart not to figure out the puzzles. Save me, Dolores. Oh. Dolores, it's me, your Uncle Chuck. I'm glad you came to save me. You're insane, you try to kill us while I say it's good to see you, Uncle Chuck. Try you're insane. You're insane! I'm not crazy. I need to tell you about something I discovered. Pull up a chair, Dolores. This is going to get crazy. <laughs> okay, one, you locked me in here and I can't get a chair. And two, how can it get any crazier than your uncle downloading himself into a tube-based computer? Good point. But he's exactly. crazier. It all started when I discovered the Tron tubes held the secret to AI. Not this again. It's aardvark insemination. Uh, aardvark insemination? No! Artificial intelligence. I know, Uncle Chuck. I was just trying to lighten the mood. As I made the Tron machines smarter and smarter, they began revealing secrets. Then they invited me to join them inside. Well, it started out as an invitation, but quickly turned into a demand. Um, couldn't you just shut off the Tron machines? Couldn't you just shut off the Tron machines? It wasn't that easy. They had become more powerful and taken control. I was also addicted to the power they gave me. Was this after the factory burned down? Was this after the factory burned down? They burned down the factory as a warning, forcing me to rebuild it in secret and pin the blame on the security guard. Right, this is dad then. Not convinced you're not crazy and insane. I'm not convinced you're not crazy and insane. I know how it must sound, Dolores. Everything I learned slowly drove me crazy. Let's move on. Let's move on, Uncle Chuck. Okay, this is where it gets really weird. I downloaded this text event. Okay. Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. You mean you pirated it? Downloaded? You mean it was pirated? Well, look who's being judgmental. It doesn't matter how I got it. Yeah, that's the thousands of people who are living making games. It matters to thousands of people who earn a living making games. Okay, now you're just getting preachy. Can I get on with my story? The more I played and modded the game, the more I realized not only was this adventure game a little simulation, but the world we live in is also just a simulation. But worse than a simulation, we are all just characters in a video game. I knew it. I knew that in um, in uh, the uh, in the journal that he was talking about when he was talking about those outside forces, talking about me, the player, like controlling everything. So it turns out they are just uh, they have just discovered they're all in a video game. That's crazy. Think about it, Dolores. Who is your mother? Do you even have a mother? Have you ever spoken about her or even thought about her? No, no, I haven't. Think, Dolores. Think about all the odd things in this world. 3,000 people from the phone box. No school in Thimbleweed Park. There's only one house in the whole town. The highway ends out by the bridge. Everyone fourth walls about adventure games. Go around collecting spe collecting specks of dust. Oh. Let's, uh, let's go with this one. Like everyone fourth walls about adventure games? Everyone asks a lot of questions about adventure games and adventure game design, don't they? Well, adventure games are cool. Who wouldn't want to talk about them? Yeah, okay, valid point. 
Um, <laughs> the sheriff and the coroner are the same actor. Like the sheriff and the coroner are the same actor? Exactly! Probably saves money on voice acting talent and art and animation. Let's go through all these. 3,000 people in the phone book. Like there being 3,000 people in the phone book? Yes! There are 80 people in Thimbleweed Park and 3,000 names in the phone book. Dolores, these are not people from our world. They are from the upper world. The upper world, like, as in our world. Upper world? That's what I've come to call it. We are the upper world for Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. They are the upper world for us. There are probably endless upper worlds, each more sophisticated than the last, all treating the lower world like it was just a game. You're starting to scare me, Uncle Chuck. Good. We need to be scared. <laughs> no school in Thimbleweed Park? Like there being no school in Thimbleweed Park? And only one kid in the whole town. Do you remember going to school? Having any friends? No, I don't. Only one house? Like there is only one house in the whole town? Exactly. Where does everyone live? We have only one house in a town of 80 people. Highway ends about by the bridge. Like the highway ends out by the bridge? Ever walked out there? Ever wanted to walk out there? You don't have the desire because it wasn't programmed into you. It's not part of the game. Yeah. Thoughts as much. Like we go around collecting specks of dust? That's not dust you're collecting. They are pixels, the building blocks of our world. They are put there to prey on the compulsive among those in the upper world. Heard enough. I've heard enough. I believe you, Uncle Chuck. Well, I'm glad, Dolores. I knew I could trust you. We have to hurry. The developers know we're onto them and are trying to reboot the game. If they do that, we're caught back in our endless cycle of pointless pretend free will. We need to shut down Pillar <laughs> 3000, delete the game, and end our existence. It's the only way we'll truly be free. Yeah, delete the world and our existence. Delete the world and end our existence? Yes, it's the only way. The developers keep rebooting us back into the same story over and over. They will do anything to keep us from deleting the game. Thimbleweed Park is a cash cow. They can't let it end. Is it? I don't know how much money they made off this game. We don't have free will? No, Dolores. You only have three things you can say. Two now. Can you make yourself say anything else? <laughs> He's talking about the different text choices. But I am shutting down Pillowtron 3000. No, not this Pillowtron 3000. The original Pillowtron 3000. The concept art wireframe Pillowtron 3000. The developers transferred all the code to it when they saw how close I was getting. You must find it and shut it down before they reboot us. Wireframe frame Pillowtron 3000. Let's do this thing. We've been watching on the big monitor outside. It's mind blowing. What the? F it's all fake, like my ex wife. I know none of this is real now, but I still need to clear my father's name. I was so close to getting a big payoff. I can't let this slip away. Before it all ends, I just want one more show. One last chance to live in the. F Limelight. What's that? I've hidden away four inventory items that will fulfill your endings. Take them and you'll be free. Dolores, I saved the best one for you. I can't tell you how to use it. The developers deleted all my dialogue in the hopes of keeping it from you. Your only clue is back in the original Kickstarter video. Everything you need is there. I'm going deeper into the, the original Kickstarter now, so video. Find me. Good luck and hurry. I love you and am very proud of you. Even me? Shut up, Ransom. Up, Red. <laughs> Part 9, the deleting. Well, that was uh, interesting. Let's go check this. Look at the journal. I need to do something with this balloon animal and venture into the wireframe world to shut down the original Pillowtron. 
Escaping from the endless cycle of pretend choice depends on me, but most important of all, I need to say goodbye to Dad. Say goodbye to Dad, figure out what to use this balloon animal with. Shut down wireframe Pillotron in wireframe world. Just quickly check uh, what they've... So, got this uh, balloon animal. It's a balloon animal. Uncle Chuck said there was a clue in the Kickstarter video. The Kickstarter video. As in, the one they made for the game. Look at the notebook. I can't believe this world is going to get shut down with me in it. I need to find the secret my employers are looking for and get it to them before the game is deleted. It's worth millions to me. So find what my employers are looking for, escape this world before it's shut down. A Game of the Year award. It's a Game of the Year award. Best game of 1988. So the year after this game's set. Let's check Reyes. I need to clear my dad's name before the game is deleted. I know it won't matter, but it's important to me the world knows, if only for a few seconds. Find someone to give the evidence to that will to that will get the story out and clear dad's name. So we've got Chuck's confession. It's a confession from Chuck Edmund. It says he framed Mr. Reyes, the security guard. Okay. Um let's check ransom. I'm tired of being a beeping fail in the butt of everyone's jokes. Maybe there is a lesson somewhere in all this. I can just do one more show and see if I can insult people without being cruel. Find someone to give the I'm sorry for being a dick card to. Go back into my flashback and do one last show. Don't blow it. Go back into my flashback. It's an I'm sorry for being a dick card. Give it to someone to say I'm sorry. Let's just really check Franklin. He's got something as well. I'm tired of Xavier pushing me and everyone else around. I'm finally going to stand up for myself and give him the business. I need to say goodbye to Dolores before it's too late. So stand up to Xavier, tell Dolores I love her, tell Dolores I'm sorry, tell Dolores goodbye. Right, so actually I think I'll probably save this for the next episode. Well, this is a, this is definitely taking a turn for the interesting, though based on that, uh, that uh, journal entry, I can't say I'm all that surprised by it. I thought it was... It was uh, foreshadowed quite well in that, in that uh, journal. But uh, we'll see how it goes uh, But in the next video, which I'm guessing will probably be the last one. But I'll save that for next time. And uh, if you like this video, then please, please give it a like. If you're not already subscribed, it really does help me out to get my channel known. And if you want to see more content like this and more Thimbleweed Park, or if you have any suggestions of your own of what I should play, then feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Until next time, folks, bye.